tutorial 63 in Android Draw. In this tutorial, we're going to move to the next section in the 3D model, the work feature. And the first feature there is plane. In the previous tutorial, we show you how to insert a plane, but in this tutorial, we're going to go in more details. So here in the plane, if you expand it, you have the work plane. It is the most used plane and it's kind of smart and can automatically define your plane references. And you have specific types of planes, but this plane for a beginner can make most of the types here. So now let's activate the work plane, the first one here and select where we want to make a reference plane. For example, if you select that surface and now the plane is still not created because it will ask about a second reference. For example, if you select this edge, so Inventor automatically detected a surface to be in the middle of that cylinder. And again, let's create another plane. Let's create it on that surface. So now we selected that surface and we can select another point in that surface too. To create the plane. So each time you hover over anything, you are able to see the preview of your plane. But I wanted the plane to be on that surface. So now we pick point on that edge. So now we created that plane. And if you select the plane, you notice that point where you are able to expand it, make it more clear. On, on the other corner point, you are able to move your plane. And you know that your plane, you can insert a sketch on it. When you click, you have create a sketch. Also in the plane, you can make a selecting for edges. For example, we select that edge and that edge. So you created a plane and now you are able to rotate that plane to the so you can notice how flexible that work plane is. And another thing when you can select plane, you can make it reference to one of the original planes created by Inventor in the beginning. For example, now you have it here. And if you select it and drag it, so you are able to make an offset of that plane. 